21st century dating scene has become somewhat of a how can I say this nicely joke guys we keep on choosing the wrong people for for some odd reason you keep on bumping into people that you know you thought this this is going good you know this is going to be a long-term thing and then boom you get ghosted boy ain't no fucking way boy. now we are going to be taking a look at four primary reasons why you keep dating and keep choosing the wrong people if you are new to the channel i don't even i don't even need to explain what to do smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications bell so that you don't this content like this because this could be the key to improving your dating life let's go what's up a few moments later all right now welcome back to it and global and welcome back to another video i try and drop as much content for you guys as possible you guys gotta let me know in the comment section uh what type of content do you like do you like this dating content do you like motivation what do you like let me know in the comment section so that i can tailor make the content for you guys yeah baby <laughs> but first off the first reason why you keep choosing the incorrect people why you keep dating the wrong people is because of codependency issues what is codependency what the hell is that so codependency is when you're basically addicted to a person that is addicted to something else so basically if you are addicted to a person that basically is a narcissist stop it get some help right that person is addicted to a narcissist so therefore uh, you yourself can actually fall into that rut you yourself can become a victim of that person because you're accommodating them you're saying that you know what I know you're a narcissist but I like you I mean, you're setting yourself up for huge, huge failures. Oh, DD, oh, what it is? And this is often the problem, especially with narcissism, which is sky high in the 21st century. So if you're dating a narcissist, you got to know that that person does not have sympathy. All he or she cares about is himself, you know, advancing themselves in life, not really taking into consideration the needs of other people, including you. So why on earth, I ask you, why on earth would you date someone like that? And it's the same issue. It could go uh, into, into worse situations, right? Let's say, for example, you have a problem with dating alcoholics. It's going to be a mess every single time. Yeah, baby. Because if you're dating a person with that type of addiction, it's going to, firstly, it's going to rub off on you. Secondly, their behavior is going to be negative towards you right you're going to face verbal abuse you're going to face physical abuse all types of things oh no so please cut off eliminate your codependency issues and the most dangerous thing about this is that you often don't realize that you're codependent you often think that okay you know what i just keep choosing the wrong people i just keep going for you know the wrong guys the wrong girls but essentially you need to take a step back and you need to reflect and you need to com it might sound crude but compare these people that you've been dating compare them to each other and you'll find i guarantee a common trait among all of them so watch out for codependency issues have, have your parents ever told you something along the lines of actions speak louder than words and i know that is such a cliche saying i always butcher that word for some reason 10 seconds later but that is such a cliche saying in the 21st century because you know what they always say yeah actually speak louder than words yada yada you gotta act if you want to be successful but when it comes to relationships and dating it is very very important to take this into consideration because you know let's say you're on the first date everything is going great right you feel like there's a connection uh, the words he or she uh, is saying is, is resonating with you and everything seems to be going wonderfully. That person tells you that, okay, you know what? I got to get home. I'm going to contact you tomorrow and set up a second date. All cool. You go home, you sleep. The next morning you wake up and you go through your day. Nothing. Hey, boy. boy, no way, boy. They've ghosted you. And why is that? Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you need to be paying attention to actions rather than words anybody can say you know what i feel you i vibe with you i like you it's it's all beautiful right but do your actions show it do their actions show those 
same feelings towards you as their words do. And 99% of the time, unfortunately, we misread the situation. We get over eager, we rush into things, which is what, what I'm going to be talking about uh, in the next section. But we tend to rush into things and just assume that, okay, you know what, because the first date went great for me, it probably went great for them as well. And that is not necessarily the case. Kill somebody dead is, kill. So essentially, you have to see if their actions do align with what they're saying. If they said they're going to set up a second date, are they setting up a second date? If they say they enjoyed the date, are they showing it, right? Are they communicating with you? Are they, you know, making an effort to set up that second date to see you again, just to, just to speak with you? If not, well, then unfortunately, my friends, that is on you. You misread the situation. And you know what? I know it sucks because sometimes people send mixed signals. Sometimes it's not your fault. But you have to be laser focused in these situations and make sure that their actions align with their words. So what I'm about to say next is probably the most important thing in this video. So perk those ears. Let me tell you how this is going to work. You're going to you be- You ain't going to tell me shit. Listen. So you rushing is a major problem. You know, I see people, it's, you know, it's good to be enthusiastic. It's good to think that, okay, you know what? This went so well. This meeting went so well. This coffee went so well. I think this is going to go somewhere long term. You jump the gun and then get mad when the other person doesn't say doesn't feel the same i understand you know there are there are chances out there that say they feel one way uh and really show it and then they just bail last minute i understand that but in all the other situations you have to really just hold your horses right hold them in the stable until that gun claps that's what she said <laughs> Why on earth did I use that metaphor? A few moments later. But the point is, don't rush your assumptions. Don't think that, you know, because the first aid went well, that automatically there's going to be second aid or um, automatically that person feels, you know, the same way about, about you as you feel about them. That is jumping the gun. And jumping the gun traditionally is extremely dangerous. What is it with the gun metaphors today? But yeah, I'm saying this because you know what, these are things that I went through personally, these are things a lot of my friends went through, and we kind of talked and we said, you know what, these four things are probably the things that most people has, have problems with, and that's why you keep choosing the wrong people, because you keep rushing things, expecting that person to, and you overwhelm the other person, and that's why they bail. And then you think, oh, it's just the wrong person. It's not necessarily the wrong person. You just took the incorrect approach. Because remember, each person is unique. Each person wants to be approached in a different way. Some people want to take it quicker. Some people want to take it faster. Quicker, faster, what, what? You, you, you. Some people want to take it quicker. Some people want to take it slower, right? You just have to read the situation and you have to be willing to adapt to the situation. And that way you'll basically lower the occurrence of you running into the quote unquote wrong people. At the end of this video, I'm going to be telling you that sometimes you don't pay proper attention. Yeah, I said it. I said what I said. You do not pay proper attention to their words and to their actions. And then, you know, you end up getting mad by saying that, you know, it was the wrong person. Oh no. At the end of the day, right, you dictate your success rate. That is as simple as that. It's not just with dating, it's with life, it's with finances, it's with your career. You, 99% of the time, dictate where you're heading. So basically, what I mean by not paying attention, if someone tells you right from the get-go right from, and let's assume that you're super attracted to this person if someone tells you from the get-go you know what let's take things slow i'm not guaranteeing something's going to happen you have to be willing to listen to that because now you know you go on a few dates and you jump the gun you immediately think oh long-term relationship marriage kids and you end up overwhelming the other person but it's not the other person's fault because he or she clearly stated to you, listen, I'm going to take it slow. I have boundaries. And then you kind of completely disregard uh, those boundaries. Now, this is not a blaming video. This is not, you know, to, to, to give you a, a lesson here. But pay close attention. Pay close attention to words. Pay even closer attention 
to actions. If they said, right, let's keep it casual. Let's let's uh, you know let's just go in a few days. You got to respect that. You got to tune your mind into that same mentality. Okay, he said it's casual. She said it's casual. Let me you know just reimburse myself. Let me withdraw myself and let me protect myself. Because at the end of the day, that is also a protection mechanism, right? To guard you against disappointment. But you know what? The overall message of this is: don't have any expectations until something comes to fruition until something comes into your reality that you can physically see okay this is going somewhere but until then be very careful with you choose otherwise you're gonna keep running into the wrong people if you are new to the channel you enjoyed this video please leave a like for me it helps the algorithm and please share it with friends and family man that was nasty please share it with friends and family that uh, you think may benefit from this video and I'll be seeing you in the next one.